Hi, BJ Posnacki. In this video, I wanted to go over what floor deflection is. So nowadays, the new trend is this open floor plan, okay? Where you have these large areas, okay? So now this particular house happens to have a vaulted ceiling. So as far as demonstrating you know, the second floor, this is not the best example, but let's just pretend that this had a second floor here. Well, in order to accommodate this large span, we have to go with longer lumber. The longer the lumber, the more it's gonna flex. It's gonna have a higher deflection rate, okay? So that's why it's not uncommon to like in this particular house, right? We got these, you know, with these uh, new styles, we've got these big, beautiful islands, right? Okay, well, depending on, and we're gonna jump down to the basement, I'm gonna give you a look. Uh, this particular house happens to have an unfinished basement. So I'm gonna give you a look from the underside so you can get a visual, but, depending on the layout of the joists and where the steel I-beams and the columns are supporting them, you know, in between those load-bearing structures, in the middle point of the lumber, you can get more flex and more bounce. So I just happen to know um, this particular house <clears throat> where this dresser is happens to be in the middle of the uh, the floor joist. So if I were to have like a glass of water or something on here, when I walk by, it's not uncommon to, to see that vibration. Or if you have like a china hutch with ditches and different things that make noise, they're rattling, that's not uncommon. Because in order to, so you have an open floor plan here, but now we're gonna jump downstairs. And in order to give you a lot of the houses that we're building and things can vary, uh, in order to give you an open floor plan in the basement, we have to go with longer lumber as well and minimize the, the supporting structures. So here in this basement, it's a big, beautiful basement. I mean, this, this is great for finishing. I mean, you're, all, you're, you're essentially just almost doubling the square footage the, because this basement, it's a ranch with a loft and then a full basement here. So in order to accommodate this open floor plan in the basement here, like I said, we've got some steel right here, column, and then we got steel right here. So right here in between these two steel I-beams, okay, I want to say, I think I measured this before and it was about 17 feet, but I've seen as wide as some of the floor plans that we're doing. I've seen 20, 22, um, I think me personally, so far I've seen, I've, the longest I've seen is 22, but that's not saying that it can't go more than that. So what, uh, so in order to give you this floor plan, you know, we have to minimize the steel beams and the columns, you know, or else, you know, in, in the old days, you, you know, if you remember in the basements, you know, you got all these columns everywhere and it just kills, it just kills the area. So, I mean, in this particular house, there's only two column, two columns, uh, you know, that you have to, you know, if you were to ever finish this basement, uh, soften around. So, um, you know, in this, you know, anything in this area here, right in the middle of this lumber, you know, you can feel a little bit more flex. So like we were upstairs where that, where that dresser was that I was pointing out was right in this area here, like right in the middle of that lumber. So, you know, in areas like in, in, specific in certain areas within the house on an open floor plan you know if you have are in the middle or in between of the spans of the i-beams you will experience uh what's what we call floor deflection so it's not an uncommon thing it's not that the house was built improperly uh everything is up to code you know even if when you're building with your builder let's just you know if things don't go wrong or I'm, I'm sorry, if things do go wrong, and let's say you don't have a good relationship with your builder or something happens, not only, or the builder misses things, or your general contractor or the rehabber, not only that's why it's important to pull permits and do inspections, because the village comes in and does inspections on everything. And that's why you submit your blueprints and you submit the blueprints to the village and they check all the load calculations and everything. So they're not gonna pass anything that doesn't have at least their minimum load requirements. So like on these particular blueprints uh, in this area, I happen to know that, you know, it's the, the code is a minimum of uh, a live load or an L 
360. Um, I happen to know that blueprints are 480. That's just that in order to get these uh, open floor plans, you need to have longer lumber. And the longer something is, the more it's going to flex. So I hope that clarifies. Um, don't worry, your house is not falling down or it's not a house of cards or anything of that nature. That's um, that is just it's more common nowadays with the open floor plans. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.